This is Bana Alabed. She is seven years old. She has two younger brothers who she often reads Harry Potter stories to. Bana and her mother, Fatma, have been using Twitter to document their haunting and terrifying experience of living in Aleppo, Syria. As heavy shelling continues to rock Syria's largest city, the family's messages have become increasingly more desperate and dire. As bombs rain down around their family, inching closer and closer to the end, Bana and her mother took to Twitter, perhaps for the final time, to say goodbye. Under heavy bombardments now, can't be alive anymore. When we die, keep talking for 200,000 still inside. Bana and her family survived, but they are now homeless. She tweets, We have no house. It's bombed, and I got in rubble. I saw deaths, and I almost died. But the terror facing Bana and her family is far from over. Under heavy bombardments now, in between death and life now, please keep praying for us. Fathma relays a message to the rest of the world. We are on the run, as many people killed right now. We are fighting for our lives, still with you. Bana is injured in the bombing. She is scared. I didn't sleep since yesterday. I am hungry. I want to live. I don't want to die. This is what's left of Bana's home. Everything is destroyed, but they survived another night. Since the civil war began in Syria five years ago, the war-ravaged region has been decimated. According to the Syrian Network for Human Rights, more than 200,000 civilians have died and counting. The Wall Street Journal reports that more than 500 civilians were reportedly killed in the last two weeks alone. More than 11 million people are displaced from their homes. According to UNICEF, more than 500,000 children like Bana and her brothers are living under siege in Syria. And there is no end in sight. This is Syria. For FoxNews.com, I'm Rob Demetrius.